Okay, everybody, uh, welcome back to our um, regular viewing. Okay, so um, what we're going to do now um, is um, before I can put a roof on, um, I want to put a, um, a porch out the front here. Okay, now, big thing with roofs and Revit, um, if you want them to create a, a correct eave, I suppose. Um, is that you do need um, walls for the roof to reference against. Um, so what we're going to do just very briefly is just going to punch out some walls here that are in line with this one here so that um, at least Revit knows what to do with those roofs. Okay, so um, just going to do a quick check here. So I'm just going to click on this wall here, my well, yeah, brick veneer thing, and I'm just going to double check the top constraint here which is um, up to level ground floor ceiling. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go WA for wall. Okay, now just remember this is a wall that we're going to delete later on, so it doesn't have to be um, perfect or anything like that. Okay, it just has to be in the right position. Okay, um, I'm I'm going to put a f an, an overhang on the on the roof, so. Um, because I want it to line up with this one here. So I'm going to go um, finish face. Um, I'm going to try wall center line to start off with. Okay, and um, I'm going to line it up with these low bearing walls here. Okay, and in particular, this one is lined up with that one there. Okay. Um, and. Technically, I think for this, I don't actually need to attach the root, this wall, to this wall at this stage. Um, but I will because I want to get this measurement right. Okay, so I've got my temporary dimension here. Okay, and I want to drag that. I want it. Uh, no. Okay, let's do a quick measure. Okay, go to our annotate tab. Grab our aligned dimension tool, okay, and let's just measure up from here. Now this is trying to pick out the wall center line because in my options that's what's saying. If I click on there and go wall faces, okay, it's going to give me the edge of that wall. So it's saying two six hundred. I'm just going to leave that dimension there, okay. But if I go left click on that wall. I can now click on this dimension and change the number to something that I would really, really want. Um, and I'm going to change that to say, oh, I can say, let's say 1500. Okay. I can delete that uh, dimension reference now just by typing DE for delete. Okay. Um, now, what we'll do is we'll run the rest of the wall there, just making sure that our top constraint is still correct. Finish face exterior. Um, again, I'll probably go 15 roughly. Okay, so I just double check the, this dimension here. So if I go Q3, or sorry, dimension it. Uh, my shortcuts, um, I'll be honest, um, I worked on MicroStation for a, in one particular job. Um, I actually really like the way MicroStation had Bentley had sent up their um, shortcuts all around the QWE area. So. I tune my Revit um, accordingly. Okay, so if you hear me saying Q3, that's my key for um, dimensioning. So again, let's click on this wall here. I'm going to make that 1500. So it's just a nice little square um, porch. Delete that. Let's go to Q3. Uh, so I go into our um, 3D view. There's that wall we've created. Okay, literally we're going to stop right there. Okay, and then we're going to start thinking about roofs and all that sort of stuff. So um, we will see you later.